What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to buy Kobe tokens on Cardano network using MintSwap. So finally, we've all been waiting Kopi to be available on Cardano blockchain. Recently, Cornucopia tweeted out that Kopi comes home to Cardano. Kopi is now live on MintSwap. And then the tweet, Kopi token is now live, search Cornucopias. We're thankful to the Chainport team for helping with minting process. You can now visit MintSwap here to begin trading. And then for more information, you can visit Discord channel. So if we go to MintSwap and then right here, we need to press on enter app. Once you do that, this page is going to appear. And then we're going to have to connect our wallet to MintSwap. Most likely, if you're just going to open up this page, it's going to prompt automatically. So if it's not, then you'll just have to press on connect wallet. For this video tutorial, I'm going to be using Namey Wallet. So once you press on connect wallet, it's going to give you different options, different wallet that it supports. They have their own main wallet, Nami, Flint, CC wallet. I think it's actually called Eternal right now, Typhoon and Jira wallet. So I'm going to press on Nami wallet. Then this window is going to appear right here. We just need to press on access. Once we have our wallet connected, the next thing we need to do, we need to type cornucopia here, or you can just scroll down and find ADA and copy pair and right here you can see that there is a queue right now currently 386 people in a queue waiting to swap ADA for copy and if we press on this little carrot and right here you're going to be able to see ADA price and then copy to ADA LP fee and then you can add liquidity or we can swap so since this is tutorial on how to swap or how to purchase copy tokens on Cardano network I'm just going to press on swap and then in here, we need to choose or we need to set amount how much ADA we're going to be spending to buy Kopi tokens. But before I'm going to put the amount, here's one thing I need to let you know. Let's say, for example, you decide to purchase a certain amount and then you submit the transaction and you've been waiting for so long and then you decide to cancel your swap or your purchase to cancel your transaction. You have to have collateral set up in your wallet. So to set collateral, press on Namey press on this little logo in the top right corner and then press on collateral. Then this window is going to appear. You have to set five Cardano as collateral. Now we just have to type our password here and then press on confirm. And that's it. Five Cardano was taken off and put it into our collateral. And now we can go back. As you can see, balance is still the same, but we're only going to be able to use, I think, like 18 Cardano or something like that. So then we need to set the amount. Let's say 10 Cardanos. For 10 Cardanos, I'm going to be able to purchase 190 Kopi tokens. And then if we scroll down here, minimum receive, slippage tolerance, half a percent, price impact, liquidity providers fee 0 0.03 Cardano batcher fee deposit and then route also right here if you press on this little hamburger menu this is going to bring us settings slippage tolerance so usually i live default settings but for example if there is a high demand you might want to set the slippage higher either one percent or maybe you can set custom here i think the max you can do 100 and then you can set up audio tone so for example if it's in the process it's going to make an audio on your computer pending order or cancel order i'm not going to do that for now and then once you're done you can just press on swap then another window is going to appear right here basically stating exactly what you're going to be doing and output estimated you'll receive at least 189 copy tokens and then confirm swap and it's going to take 14 cardano from our wallet because the other four cardanos they're going to go to those different liquidity providers fee and other fees and then we need to press on sign and then right here we need to type our password and then press on confirm and that's it transaction submitted we can close or we can view an explorer and now we got in a queue now we just have to wait until transactions can be processed and swap on MinSwap. Once you see that your transaction submitted to the blockchain or your money left the wallet, as for example, in my case, I have four Cardano left. Then you'll see on the left where you see orders, one just appeared. And if you press on it, you're gonna be able to see your submitted orders and it's queuing right now. So now we just have to wait for this transaction to be processed by MinSwap and then we'll get copy tokens. Once the process is going to be complete, I'll show you copy tokens in my Nami wallet. 
Okay, it's already been a few hours and finally my transaction went through and I got my copy in my Nami wallet. But I had to do one thing. What I noticed after a little bit of time, price on copy started going up and my slippage tolerance was not high enough. So what I did, I went back to orders and I canceled my first order. The reason why, when the price is going up and if slippage tolerance is not high enough, the most likely transaction is not going to go through, it's just going to be stuck on a blockchain and you'd have to go back and cancel it. And that's where the collateral comes in place. To interact with a smart contract or to cancel your order, you have to have collateral in place. So what I did, I canceled the order and then I submit another same order and what I did if we go back to swap, I press on this little hamburger menu and then right here I set to 25%. Usually slippage tolerance 25 is very high, but since I'm doing this video tutorial, I just want to make sure my transaction is going to go through so I can get the video out to you guys. That's why I set it to 25% and my transaction went through and now I got my copy tokens in my Nami wallet. So let me open that up. And this is what they're going to look like. They have their Cornucopia logo, same as on the Binance Smart Chain. And right here, they called it Cornucopia Tokens. And actually, I got 205 Copia Tokens. Originally, I thought I was getting 198 or somewhere around there. And even with the high slippage tolerance, I still got a little over 200 tokens. And this is pretty much it. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. Hopefully after watching this video, if you never have used any decentralized exchange before, this will help you to get started and you can get yourself some copy tokens. And if this video was helpful to you, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.